bless our viewers subscribers trust and hope that you're doing fine and that everything is going well for you and yours so what i want to talk on is a situation that took place with Kaylan in which she was jumped by six female as you know the police are now reporting that they have taken two other individuals into custody so the police now have four of the six females involved in the beating of that individual so the mother came out recently and she stated that some people are trying to solicit money from unknown individuals as it relates to them setting up GoFundMe page and she shared a video with you the general public and it's very sad to see that someone would want to profit from something such as this someone was seriously hurt she's in a coma she's unconscious she's on life support machine and someone is trying to forfeit from this now it just goes to show you how people heart is so cold they are just so evil and cruel to each other what transpired to this 17 year old female should not have happened and it just goes to show you that our country and as a nation we have locked the moral values and we don't value life that much a number of people have so far been very supportive of the the mother which is very good and a number of people have been contributing to the gofundme page as it relates to them contributing well needed funds that will help in her recovery process because this is going to be a lengthy recovery process we're not sure whether or not she will regain consciousness or how long will this take for her to be back to a hundred percent so for those that are contributing to the gofundme page much respect goes out to you for doing that and for those that are trying to forfeit from this or try to benefit from it it's very sad to see that you are that you would scoop so low in order to gain money from someone else don't fall so we're just gonna jump over to a little bit of what the mom had to say as it relates to what transpired and the latest update as it relates to her health and well-being so let's go over to that right now um, first thing I'm addressing is a fake GoFundMe page by Simon McAuliffe Simon, I'm reporting it to the fraud, fraud squad, ASAP. People, there's only one GoFundMe page, and that page is managed by and organized by my sister, my blood sister, Kaylan's aunt, Angela May Kelly. That is the only GoFundMe page. Do not support any other GoFundMe. If I did not say support the page don't support if it if you don't see me say um i gave permission for any fundraising that means i did not give any permission for any fundraising any fundraising that is being done for kaylan has to be approved by me because i am the one who is going to have to speak to the bank and the police when time the problem comes please don't want anybody trying to reap anything off of Kaylan. Kaylan's journey has just begun. And the bills them is very expensive. People, do not make any fake pages on behalf of me, my family, or Kaylan Dowdy. We are not standing for it. Whatever the little, the little page where we have, whatever we can raise on it, I am grateful and I am thankful for it. Because remember, we don't give anybody anything to put down. It's just an unfortunate circumstances which all we have and the bills are overwhelming. Kaylan's recovery will cost a lot. Kaylan is still in a coma. Kaylan is still unconscious. Kaylan is still on life support. Her BP is still dropping, still not maintaining her BP on her own. Right? I don't want right now we have to be fight the doctors are fighting for her she has a blood clot in the in the left arm that they're trying to get under control before it goes to the lungs you understand it's a lot okay, yesterday when I went to the hospital she was looking so droopy I even had to ask them if she was on any sedative and they said no she's not on any sedatives Please do not make fake 
pages. This is a life and death situation. I'm a child life hanging in the balance. Me no need nobody to try and ruin it. Right? People don't need to be mindful and be, oh my man, come on man, people, come on man. You want, you're, you're that heartless? You people are that heartless? That's what you're going to make. I, and I see people starting to, to support it because everybody is rallying around and trying to do their best to help Kaylan. And I appreciate it. I'm glad for no say me not alone in other fight here. Yeah. I'm glad to know that I'm not alone because the mothers have been reaching out, the fathers have been reaching out, the, everybody has been reaching out. Even children have been reaching out. And you people going to make a fake page? Simon McAuliffe, your page is fake. Fake page. I did not give such permission. I not even open my eye this morning when somebody sent it to me. I said, if this is, if this is, is right. I said, no. It's a fake page. Fake fundraiser. Nobody should click on it. Angela May Kelly organizing Kaylan's GoFundMe. Tammy Faye is doing a fundraiser for Kaylan as well on Facebook, who is associated with Auntie Donna. Well, there you have it. The mom that's giving us a quick update as it relates to what has been going on, as it relates to people out there setting up fake page in order to benefit from the whole entire proceeds of what transpired to 17-year-old Kaylan. As the mother stated that she has not supported any other page that is in doing things as it relates to them collecting money on the behalf of Kaylan. If there is a page out there that is set up in order to solicit money from people, it is fake. She said that she has only given two individuals um, permission in order to receive money on the behalf of Kaylan. So you have to be extremely careful whenever you're making any form of donation in order to assist this 17 year old female that was viciously beaten. As I can recall, one of the female that was accused of being involved in the whole entire situation, she has so far cleared her name as she has um, as she went to the police station and she basically gave her um, statement as it relates to where she was at the time in question that the entire mayhem went down. However, she has so far cleared her name and the police has not listed her as a person of interest anymore. As you know, a number of videos and pictures circulated online as it relates to this specific female that was among the group of females that were accused of beating this 17-year-old girl. And what transpired was very sad. It was an unfortunate situation that has left this girl now in coma and also on a life support machine just in order for her to survive this is going to take a whole lot of cash is going to take a whole lot of effort from the medical staff at that medical facility. So we're just praying and just hoping that everything does go well for the family. I know that the mother is having a very hard time. Oh, she has the support of the world right now behind her. And everyone is just hoping that young Kaylan make a speedy recovery. As for those that are trying to solicit money from people out there, just stop that practice because it's not anything good. As you know, the family is struggling with just the fact that she's in a coma at this time. And any added problems right now is uncalled for. God, no one wants to see their loved one in a state that she's in right now. And as you know, she's not doing very well. She has not been responding to anything so far. Even though she's stabilized, she has not said a word since she has been in hospital. And the family right now is just hoping for the best. And everyone right around the world is just hoping that everything just goes well for her. And that everything will just work out in the best possible way. So all we can do is just support the family during this difficult time. And just try our very best if we don't even have the money to give or anything we could just 
say a prayer for her and just hope that she does make a speedy recovery and also in the shortest possible time as well because what transpired here was something that was uncalled for it was unjust and she has left now with this to bear it for the rest of her life knowing that her daughter might never regain consciousness or knowing that something might can trigger another development based on what transpired to her in the later part of her years all right so we're just gonna just continue to just support the family support everything that is going on support the whole entire movement and as you know links below some tv is here we'll always try our very best to keep you up to date with this but i'm imploring you out there the general public just listen to what the mom had to say she said that if there is any page out there that is soliciting money from people if she don't approve it then don't contribute to that page so we're gonna leave this one here for now we just want to say we wish Kaylan a speedy recovery and we wish the family all the best during this difficult time and that they do find the strength to cope and continue to just press forward even though it's a difficult time for them so we're gonna leave this one here for now thanks for watching this has been links of Love 7 tv let's talk we said peace out please remember like share subscribe to the channel click that notification bell so you're notified whenever we post new videos all right peace out bless